welcome to my Mr. Men Design Set workshop. In this workshop, we're going to be creating some super cute little Mr. Men designs that are perfectly salon viable for you to do on your clients. I really hope you guys enjoy this workshop, so let's get started. Welcome to my Mist Men Inspired Design Set workshop. So I've already prepared my tips and I've already done two Mist Men here. So I've done Mr. Messy and I've also done Mr. Tall. So obviously Mr. Tall, I haven't done his body because he's super duper tall. So I've just done his legs and his really cute little shoes here. So I've already prepared my tips on these three tips. And what I have done, I have gone in with a flying saucer from the Sherbet collection to do my sky. And then for the grass, I have used pear drop from the Sherbet collection as well. And then I have gone in with my matte top coat and I feathered up my, if I just grab this one and show you, I feathered up that pear drop to create some grass like effect and then i used my base coat as a blooming gel and went in with a little bit of um, innocence from our core collection which is our white to create uh, a slight cloud effect in that background so it wasn't just flat blue okay so the first character we are going to do is mr happy and he is super simple so i'm going in with my yellow gel paint and i'm going to use my large dotting tool for this to create the main bulk of his body so i'm going straight into the pot and using my yellow from the pot and i'm just going to get that main bulk of color on there okay and then i'm going to go in with my go-to brush so this is a slightly larger brush it holds a nice weight of product but it was also got that nice tapered tip on there to be, to create those nice sharp lines so i'm just going to go around this dot using that as a guide to create my circle for mr happy so going in just floating out this product and creating that outline so he's nice and rounded and depending on what picture you're working on for your mr men sometimes he's an oval sometimes he's a circle so i'm going to go somewhere in between that and create more of a rounded oval okay so just coming in and then floating that product out because I don't want to have to go on top of this with a second layer so making sure that my edges are nice and crisp so that we don't have to go back in and we are going to be outlining this in black so you don't have to worry too much about getting that perfect edge on here we just want to get that general shape in and then floating that product out to create a nice even surface now while i'm here because i'm using gel paint it means i've got more work time because this is not going to spread out like it would if it was a normal gel polish so i'm going in underneath his body and creating his legs which is just a rectangle and then using the edge of my brush to create that rounded tip to his feet so putting my brush down and then pulling up to create his little feet and then for his hands I'm going to do one two three four dots and then bring that in for the connection with his little arm for his body and then again one two three four and then again connecting that just with a straight line to his body again 
okay so now i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure because we're using gel paint it is a 60 second cure and while he's in the lamp i'm going to go straight in and create our second character which is mr bump so i'm going to go in with flying saucer but i'm going to mix this with a little bit of blew my mind from the core collection so i'm going to pop these two down and the reason i'm doing that is because i don't want his body to merge into the background but i want it to be slightly lighter than blew my mind and slightly darker than my background so again i'm going to grab my tip that i've already prepared and i'm going to go in with my dotting tool again so i'm just going to clean off my dotting tool with a lint free wipe because we have got that yellow on there from mr happy and pick up a nice amount of our gel paint and then again go in and create our circle so he's slightly more oval than mr happy and you can see i'm just swirling this round to create that edge so you can go in with your brush or you can go in with just your dotting tool it's entirely up to you and then just float that product out so you can see there there's two different techniques in order to get that detail in there again i'm going to use my go-to brush to pop his legs in which is exactly the same as mr happy so a little square at the bottom and then in with his feet again i'm just using the tip of my brush to create that rounded edge to his toes and then pull that in to his legs and then once again in exactly the same way we're going to create his fingers and then into his body and then doing the same on the other side like so okay so he's now going to go into the lamp for a full cure and then we have got our mr happy here so mr happy is pretty much done now apart from our outline work which i'm going to go in and do in a second and before i do that i'm going to go in and add my little daisies so i'm going in with innocence and a slightly smaller dotting tool this time and i'm going to create five dots to create our petals for our daisies like so and then that's going to go into the lamp for a cure and then i'm going to do the same on my mr bump so five dots really simple this takes me back to when i first learned how to do nail art this was one of the techniques that we use to create flowers. So that's now gonna go in again for a quick cure. And while that's in, we're gonna create our third character, which is going to be Mr. Tickle. So I'm gonna go in with my orange gel paint. And again, with my large dotting tool, I'm going to create that central part of his body. So straight into the pot and then he's at a slight angle so I'm going to come in and create his body in exactly the same way as I did Mr. Happy and Mr. Bump but just angling him slightly. So pulling that product round 
to create the edge that I need. And then if you need to go in and even that out, just go in with your go-to brush and just even that out ever so slightly. So with his feet, he's got one coming up this way and then connecting to his body. We're gonna put a little knee just in here and then his foot coming this way here. So it's like he's running. Mr. Tickle is very active. And then we're going to go in with his arms. So I'm going to bring this out and it's entirely up to you which way you go. So I'm going to bring this arm down to fill in this negative space down here on this green. And then on the end of that, he's got his four fingers. I'm just going to go back over that just to crisp up those lines. And then his other arm, I'm going to bring up here into this negative space that we've created on the sky. Again, just pulling that product ground and then adding in his four fingers. Okay, so he's now going to go in stamp and because that's a gel paint, it is a 60 second cure. So I'm going to pop Mr. Happy to one side at the moment and then go in and create our detail work on Mr. Bump. So he has got his bandages, so I'm going to use this white Again, this is the Innocence from our core collection. And I'm gonna come across his body at the bottom and bring that to our line of his body on the outside. And then I'm gonna come up And this doesn't have to be perfectly straight. In fact, if it slightly goes up one side, then it does add to that effect of his bandage. So that's his bottom bandage done. And then we're going to come in and do our top bandage. So this is slightly curved this way, coming up. And then this whole top section is his bandage. So I'm gonna come in and create my outline. And I'm using my uh, five mil liner brush to do this, because it's great for detail work. And then making sure that we cover up that blue and we've got that really nice crisp edge. And then once you've done that, you can go in and float out this product from edge to edge and fill in that area just there okay so again he's going to go into the lamp mr. tickle is now cured and I'm going to use the same blue that I used for mr. bump and pop his little hat just with my dotting tool on top of his head. So that is just a dot. And then I'm also gonna go in and create those little daisies. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two. three, four, five, into the lamp for a cure. 
And then I'm going to grab Mr. Happy and do the centre of his daisies. So just with my yellow gel paint, just popping a dot in the centre there. And then do the same for Mr. Bump. So popping the centre of my daisies in, like so. And the same for Mr. Tickle. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and start to do my outline. So I'm going to use my black gel paint in order to do this. And again, I'm going to work straight from the pot. And while I'm here, I'm just going to get rid of that and now I'm going to go in with my 5mm liner brush because it is super super fine and it means that I can get a lot of that detail in there and make sure that it's nice and crisp. So the first thing I'm going to do is to pop his eyes in so I'm going to use my brush to do this and his eyes are ovals rather than circles okay so just using the very tip of my brush to create his eyes and then I'm going to go in and do his mouth so I'm going to put the top line of his mouth in first so that goes from just under his eyes in a relaxed U shape and then we're going to do more of a exaggerated U shape from that one that we've just put in. And again, I'm not worrying about what's going on in the center part of this. I'm just getting that nice crisp line in there. And then I'm going to fill the rest of this in with my black gel paint and then using the very tip of my brush I'm going to pop in the curve of his smile. So coming in on those two points that we've just created like so. So he's now going to go into the lamp for a cure and then we're going to do Mr. Tickle and pop his eyes in oopsie so again he's on a slight angle here so I'm going to do his eyes first which is just literally a touch of my brush again in that oval shape and then he's got a big old smile on him so I'm going to come all the way down and round and then marry up those two lines and then again popping in that curve of his smile and then he's got a little flick on either side of his eyes okay so he's now going to go into the lamp for a cure and then we're going to do Mr Bump's eyes and mouth so again just touching my brush down to create the shape of his eyes like so and then his smile goes below this bandage so I'm going to come in here bring that down and round and then stop and then bring the other side round and then again stop on his bandage so into the lamp for a full cure and then we're going to do our outline with our Mr Happy so I'm going in with my slightly longer liner brush now this is our 10 mil and I'm going to come all the way around 
to create that outline like so and then stopping at his arm bringing that out I'm not going to do his fingers just yet and then again bringing that down and round popping the center of his legs in round and I'm going to break this down in order to get that curve of his foot in there and again down round and then bring it back up the other side do his little arms and then bring that back up and around his head. Like so. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with my five mil and do his little hands, so round, using the lightest of touches round round and round and then the same on the other side And there's our Mr. Happy. So he's now going to go into the lamp for a full cure. And then we're going to grab Mr. Tickle out. So again, I'm going to use my slightly longer brush. And create the base of his hat first of all. So this is a nice relaxed U again on top of his head. And then I'm going to come around that. To create the outline. I'm just going to bring that out a little bit more. Like so. And then we're going to come and do the outline of his body. So again, around this top section. And then around the bottom section. And then I'm going to pop his knee in and his foot. other foot now what's nice about using the gel polish is because it gel paint rather is because it stands up slightly off the nail it enables you to lay your brush down into that groove that's been created between your background and your main character so it does make your brush control that little bit easier So again, coming in, and then we're going to go in and do our outline of his arms. 
so you will find this so much easier just to break it down rather than doing it in one go and then doing the other side as well again I'm going to leave his hands for the time being Bring that all the way down. And then down to his hand. Okay. And then he's got little wiggle lines. So I'm just going to pop those little wiggle lines in. Got one round by his foot. One by this foot. one here and one there and I'm going to put another one there okay so then I'm going to go back in with my 5mm and pop his little hand in Just using the very tip of my brush in order to do that. Okay, and then he's going to go into the lamp for a full cure, which is 60 seconds. And now we've got Mr. Bump left. So the first thing I'm going to do is do his bandages. So I'm just going to come across here and then along here and then along that line there and then again on that bottom section so along here right through the middle like so and then along that bottom section again okay and then I'm going to put his feet and legs in in this, exactly the same way as we did Mr Happy so again, just breaking it down, doing one side, then the other, and then popping that curve in. One side, then the other, and then bringing that curve round. I'm just going to thicken up this side slightly. There we go. And then coming from the top of that bandage down to meet his leg. And the same on the other side and then I'm going to come around the curve of his head around this side as well and then while I'm here I'm going to make sure these lines from his bandage finish all the way to that outline and then I'm gonna put his little arms in and then again go in with my five mil And do his little hands. Mm -hmm. 
like so. Now I'm also going to do around his head a few little like confusion wiggles. So these are just little wiggles as though he's got a headache. So you really don't have to worry too much about the detail in here. But you just want to wiggle your brush around so that it can create that little confusion wiggle. So that's now going to go into the lamp for a full cure and then the other two are ready to top coat. So it's entirely up to you whether you matte these or go shiny. I've decided to go shiny because I think it really does help to create that depth especially with that background that we've put in there with our clouds. So I'm going to go in with I'd rather be shiny which is my no wipe shiny top coat. And obviously, if you're doing this on a client, you're steering clear of their cuticle side walls and also capping their free edge. So that is Mr. Happy Done. And then I'm going to go in and do Mr. Tickle. And then we're going to go in and do Mr. Bump. Again, making sure that you're steering clear of their cuticle side walls and also capping their free edge. And there's nothing to say that you can't do these slightly bigger so you don't have the whole character on there. You could just have part of the character it's entirely up to you but that is the joy of your characters being hand painted so i'm just going to get rid of this and then i'll be able to show you guys so this is our i'd rather be shiny no wipe top coat from my own collection and we have got our mr messy our mr tool so hopefully you guys can see the detail that we've managed to get on his little shoes in there and i think that's a really cool take on mr tool we'll pop those either side and then we've got mr happy in the center our mr tickle and our whoopsie our mr bump and there you have it, our Mr. Men inspired design set. Super simple, super salon viable, and super cute too. I really hope you guys enjoyed this workshop, and if you did, please make sure you click the subscribe button, and if you want to see any future workshops, just click them down below. Thank you, as always, so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.